When it comes to competition, athletes often put much of their focus on the final score. But in order to achieve peak performance, it's important for their training to include good nutrition. The Washington Interscholastic Nutrition Forum understands the importance of an athlete being properly fueled. Supported by the Washington Interscholastic Activities Association, Washington Youth Soccer Association, and Washington Dairy Products Commission, the WIN Forum strives to provide athletes, parents, and coaches with the latest nutritional information to enhance peak performance on and off the field. Annually, a WIN Forum meeting is held at the WIAA Coaches School to educate coaches and students about nutrition. So today, hopefully, I can share with you some of the tips that I've discovered through the years. Allison Deckert, some... marathon runner and founder of Team Transplant at the University of Washington Medical Center, was the presenter at the most recent meeting. An athlete herself, Allison understands the importance of being properly fueled for competition. I've been able to qualify for the last four women's Olympic trial marathons. I've run Boston. I won the Seattle Half Marathon in 1998. I'm the, the founder and the coach for UWMC Team Transplant. Team Transplant is a group that started about eight years ago as a way to promote organ donation awareness and fitness in our, in our transplant recipients. An athlete's hectic schedule doesn't mean that a good diet takes a back seat. Nutrition is something that should be a priority every day, not just the day of your competition. Nutrition is what's going to help fuel your workouts, and your workouts are what is going to ultimately improve your performance. To help athletes meet their nutritional needs, Allison created her top 10 nutrition tips for peak performance. Tip number one, nutrition does make a difference. It speeds recovery and fuels workouts. Nutrition does make a difference. Food is fuel, and you want to put the best fuel into your body to get the best performance out of it. It's important to get in some kind of carbohydrate within 20 to 30 minutes after you work out. That way you can start replenishing your energy stores and so that you'll be ready to get after it again the next day. Tip number two, eat a variety of foods, including vegetables. You want to incorporate at least three food groups per meal. An example might be for lunch to have a turkey sandwich on whole wheat bread with a piece of fruit. That would be three food groups right there. If you add a piece of cheese, that would be a fourth food group. Another example might be a bean burrito with uh, some kind of beans in a tortilla and a piece of fruit. Uh, again, you could put some cheese on the burrito and that would make four food groups. Tip number three, make nutrition a priority every day. It should become habit. Try to have two meals and a snack before afternoon practices. Try Think of ways that you can um, ha keep healthy snacks close at hand. So things like fruits, granola bars and sports bars, uh, trail mix. Um, for post-workout nutrition, you can get the single-serving, shelf-stable um, containers of chocolate milk. Chocolate milk is a great source of carbohydrate and protein and is something that can be very well tolerated after a workout. Tip number four, emphasize good carbs. Carbohydrate is what provides fuel. Fruits are a great source of carbohydrate, and in addition, they, give, they provide vitamin A and vitamin C. Dairy products provide carbohydrate as well as protein and calcium and vitamin D. Breads and cereals provide fiber and a lot of B vitamins. By taking in these foods as your source of carbohydrate, you're also getting in a lot of other nutritional benefits as well. Tip number five, don't overlook the protein. It's what helps build and repair muscle. Protein is actually a building block. It's what's going to help repair tissue and help you build muscle. Good protein foods include meats, eggs, cheese, dairy products, beans and lentils. Tip number six, athletes can't eat just whatever. Even though they may have more leeway when it comes to calories and weight, it's still important that they pay attention to the foods that they're choosing. It's important that they choose the best foods to fuel their body. Tip number seven, preparation and hydration. But yeah, right there. Why? Right hydration is key to athletic performance. Even a weight loss of just 10% reflects dehydration and can impact athletic performance. So make sure you get in at least eight cups of fluid a day. Tip number eight, no new on race day. Stick with what you know. It's important to 
Take what you've incorporated during your training as far as your hydration regimen or your pre-race meal plan or your nourishment regimen during your event. Take that with you to your actual competition. That way you'll have something that's been tried and tested, something that you feel comfortable with, and you'll be left with fewer surprises and less to worry about. Get some water, guys. Tip number nine, don't skip on post-workout nutrition. Carbs replenish muscle. It's important to choose foods that are high in carbohydrate with a little bit of protein. So foods that are high in carbohydrate might include fruits, juices, sports drinks, bagels. Um, dairy products are nice because they do include the additional proteins. Tip number 10, focus on balance. Good habits mean good results. There are no magic bullets. It's a combination of nutrition, training, rest, and hydration that will ultimately lead you to your best performance on race day. If you're going to go to so much effort to, to try to improve your performance, then you don't want to shoot yourself in the foot with a bad diet. For more information on the latest sports nutrition, visit the WIND Forum at www.windforum.org.